All right, what is up, my lovelies? We have some shit to talk about before we get started right now. I don't even know how loud this is. Firstly and foremostly, the important shit. Uh, I got back from vacation, and when I got back from vacation, my TV was dead. Um, for though you probably nobody remembers because like, oh, I think I only made like one offhand comment like on a video way the fuck long ago. My TV at times had been basically I'd turn the TV on and run fine for like five to ten minutes, and then the screen would just go black. The TV would still be on, I could still hear sound and shit, I could still, you know, like use the remote to do shit with it, but the display was just black. It was like the TV was off. And so but that happened maybe like once a week. It was a rare occurrence. And then when I came back, it went from being a rare occurrence to a regular occurrence. Like, it just, every single time I turned on the TV, it just depended on how long um, the TV had been off until that point in time that I turned it on. Within, you know, a few minutes, the screen would go black, and it just kept on doing it. There was no fixing it. So, obviously, uh, couldn't, can't use that for much, so I have a new TV. Uh, and actually, you may be able to tell this because on the sides here, on the little borders right there, you can actually see that little grayness on the side. I've never actually seen that before. <laughs> Apparently, that's probably just something to do with my display, but I guess this one has a whiter screen or some shit, because I, I never remembered that little gray border on the side. So, um, also, I'll probably be tweaking with shit a little bit with the displays and whatnot. I mean, it looks fine to me right now, but I'll have to see how my camera records it to, uh, at the display to see what's going on, etc. And also, I'm poor as fuck. Let's, you know, go into the next little bit of news. For those of you that enjoy my Record of Augurest War playthroughs, Record of Augurest War 2 comes out next week. Uh, unfortunately, I actually won't be getting it for a little while because I wanted to get the... Because all of the other previous Record of Augurest Wars, I have gotten the collector's edition, so I want to get the collector's edition again. GameStop did not have the collector's edition available for pre-order, so I pre-ordered it from Amazon, which did, but unfortunately they, I don't know if this is how it's going to happen, um, they have it projected that they'll get it to me by July uh, 2nd, the Monday, like the Monday the week after the game actually comes out, but that happened to me before, so I don't really order games that often. I think this is actually only the second time I pre-ordered a game from Amazon. Uh, the one before that was the same situation. I wanted to get, I believe it was Dragon Age 2, and I wanted to get the collector's edition, but GameStop didn't, you know, it met that deadline where, like, you can't pre-order it after this date from us. So I got it from Amazon, and I believe it was the same kind of thing. Like, oh, we were going to get it to you by, like, the next week or something, and I ended up getting it on when, like the Wednesday, the day after the game came out. So hopefully that happens again. If not, um, I do have now a PlayStation 3. I got it a few weeks ago. Some of you did notice that I got it because of the Blaze Blue video that that was on PS3. Unfortunately, Blaze Blue was from uh, Gamefly, and I just I played it for like a day, and I was just like, man, fuck this. Like I, me, me and Blaze Blue just appear to be done. Blaze Blue and I just seem to have, you know. We parted ways on friendly terms, and we had a mistaken get-together again, and then remembered why we parted ways, and we parted ways once more. So I don't have Blaze Blue anymore. That game and I are done. But I do now have a PlayStation 3, and unfortunately, because I bought the PlayStation 3, not knowing my TV was going to die two weeks later, I, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm poor as hell now. <clears throat> so, that's a thing. So now, um, so basically that's what's going on. Um, also for some reason, I don't even know what the, f I don't know what's going on. For those of you that know stuff about, um, like the NAT settings, I don't know if you people say NAT or if people say NAT, I don't know. For those of you that know shit about that, I know very little. All that I know is NAT1 is what you want. That's the good shit. Fuck it. Nat 2 is eh, and Nat 3 is bad. Now, I'm gonna try some new shit. But the thing that confused me is that, from what I understand of the Xbox, if you have, um, if you have NAT, if you have Nat 1, 
It won't tell you shit when you search for your internet connection. When you test your internet connection. If you have NAT2 when you test it, it'll say like there's moderate, whatever, you know, it's your NAT settings are set to moderate. If you have three, it'll say your NAT settings are set to strict. That's how it works. Really? I'll finish it after this laggy ass goddamn match is over. Shit. I fucked up. I done fucked up! Did this bitch seriously just block my instant overhead? Like, did that really just happen? Kuma's getting blown up. What the f- that was supposed to be a fucking backdash, you cocksucker. <laughs> God damn it. I ain't even mad about that. I ain't even mad about that. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm playing like booty. This is what happens when you just don't play a game for that long. That is exactly what I hit, I ain't even mad about that. That had to be too late. Really? That wasn't too- nice X Factor. Nope. Should've used the other one! I don't know any of the new Akuma combos. But anyway, that was a terrible match. That was a terrible connection. So we gonna bail on that one. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. So anyway, so for Nat settings. Like I said, what I understand about the Xbox, if you test your connection, it won't say shh. That, what, that's what annoys me, is that it won't tell you what your NAT settings are. It doesn't tell you. You have to, it'll tell you if, like, you have moderate or you have strict, but it won't tell you what the fuck the settings are unless you have that. But from what I understand, if it doesn't tell you, that means you have NAT1. If it does, t if it tells you moderate, that means NAT2. Strict means NAT3. I can't find anything on the goddamn internet that tells me specifics. That's what pisses me off. If you have a problem, and you need that problem fixed, there is shit all over the goddamn place that will tell you how to fix it. But I cannot find a goddamn thing that says, this is what's wrong. It'll tell you how to fix it, but it won't tell you why it needs fixing. It won't tell you what is wrong with it. So anyway, because the thing that first got me started on this was when I set up my PS3 for PSN, it tested my connection, you know, it told me the speed, everything, and then it said my settings were set to NAT2 on the PS3, and that's what got my mind working, was like, okay, that might actually explain why I'm having trouble connecting, and people are saying, what are you talking about, hello, people are playing these games, if, it's, if shit is set to NAT2 and not NAT1, that should restrict my connectivity, from what I understand. But Xbox doesn't fucking tell me anything. Like, I'll search my connection, and there's this thing where you can hit Y after searching it, and it gives you this thing called the Error Status Report. And then it just puts a bunch of letters and a bunch of fucking numbers, and doesn't tell you a goddamn thing about what they mean. And when I try to Google them, not a goddamn person knows what the fuck they mean, and there's not a goddamn list anywhere that says what they fucking mean. I search Xbox Support, I search, like, Xbox Dedicated Forums, I search everything, and not a goddamn one of them had an answer for what the fuck those codes were.
I mean, now technically nothing's wrong because it tells me everything is fine. I but I just want to know what the fuck that error status report thing actually is telling me. I want to know what the fuck those codes mean. How do you put those codes? Like, how is it possible for you to show me them, but you can't even be smart enough to foresee that maybe people want to know what the fuck those mean, and they want to hop online and search your fucking support forums or your support page and get a list of them and figure out what the fuck is going on. But they don't fucking do that! What the fuck? Like, that's just baffling. Why would you not, like, why would you not fucking show me that shit? You know, it's, informa it's information that you kind of want to know if you're going to toss it at me. And the, the combination of letters and numbers don't mean a fucking thing to me unless I can look them up and figure out what they mean, but you don't give me a method to look them up. What the fuck are you thinking? Like, how stupid do you have to be to not think that through? It just seems like such an obvious, like, something that should be there, that you should have. If you have a list of error codes, you should fucking, like, put that in an accessible location so people can figure out what the fuck you're telling them. Like, that is information that you're giving to me. That's not helping you at all. You're not looking at it. I'm looking at it. So give me a way to see what the fuck that shit means. God, that pisses me off. But from what I understand, it just basically means my router is fully open to my 360, it is not fully open to my PS3, but I'm not really interested in using the PS3 uh, for online shit, just because number one, I am not going to double buy games, that's just not going to happen, and there's just, there's just, 360, if I am paying, if I am not paying for Xbox Live, then that's a good reason to use the PS3 over the Xbox, over the Xbox. but if I am going to pay for this shit, the Xbox, Xbox's connectivity is just leagues better, just for the sole reason that pretty much everybody uses wired connections on it. Whereas PS3, a lot of people use wireless, and that just naturally makes the connections not be as good. It's just how that shit works. But apparently we can't even find a goddamn match. So this is all just going to be ranting in one shitty ass match. I do think The thing that's like really, I don't even... It seems to, like the middle of the screen right now. I'm actually kind of looking at my camera and it seems the same way. Like the middle of my screen, bright, has like the proper look, but then the edges are just like the corners. There's like this triangle of blackness that I'm fairly certain was never there on my old TV. It just like, it just looks like it's one of those, I don't even know. It's just like there's a circle where the TV looks like it should and then the borders outside that circle on the very edge of the screen are, like, way darker than they fucking should be. Because I can barely even make out Juggernaut up there at the top left. Like, if I didn't know ju that Juggernaut was there, I would not know that was Juggernaut. I don't even know who the fuck to do- Oh, that's Colossus. See, if I didn't know the Colossus was on that page somewhere, I wouldn't have even seen that motherfucker. <laughs> that shit is redonkulous. Alright, so anyway... Some of you probably... Ooh, I have hair color? Kuma, I didn't know that. Some of you were probably wondering, yo, what the fuck's going on with this dude's team choice. Basically, I wanted to put... To, I, I went to a little get-together. One of my friends is leaving. He got a job offer in North Carolina, so he's, he's bailing on all of us. Good for him. You know, good shit. Make your money. But so we had a little get-together. We played some Marvel, and I, re I rediscovered my love of Wolverine and decided I want to put... Why? Why would you? This is... Nice command grab, I guess. I mean, that was... Motherfucker needs to stop hopping around like a goddamn dumbass. Oh, God. I was supposed to keep on mashing. <laughs> it didn't happen though. What the fuck? Why did you? He was still. He crossed under, but he was still facing the other goddamn way. Did you see that shit? Ah oh, shit! Wow, that was stupid. 
Why isn't the grenade going off? God damn it. Well, yeah, that was good. That was, that was just great. Just gravy. Just fantastic. That was just great. This is just a great game right now. Just great. Love how you hit buttons and shit. It's just like, nah. Chris's wave dash is ass. I forgot how bad Chris's wave dash was. Oh, oh, you want you want to get you want to get nasty? Okay, okay. You want to pretend like you just did something special there? All right. Pretend like you good? Okay. Let's do it, son. Pretend like you got a Spencer. Pretend like you special. Let's go, son. You mess with the bull, you get the horns, motherfucker. Yeah, boy. Now if I lose this, it's gonna be real goddamn sad for me, but still. I mean, that's just a hilarious online team overall. Spencer, not so much. But then you got Wesker scroll backing it up, and that's just, that's just like... You can't taunt at all when you're winning with that. Online. Like, you're using Wesker scroll online, you wanna act tough? Please, dog. Please. Nice mashing, dude. That's very cute. Your quality. Can't believe I missed that reset. God damn it. That was cool, I guess. Wow, really? 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 What the f- It's fine online! I don't want my buttons to go through. It's all gravy. Seriously? Seriously? Really, Capcom? Really, Capcom? Really, Capcom? Fucking can't stand you guys, Capcom. Just can't stand you guys. That was some bullshit. That was some bullshit. Fucking can't even see Wesker on the screen and his anti-air still fucking kills me. That's fine. I ain't even mad about that. I ain't even mad about my buttons not fucking coming out. I'm sorry? Hi. I Okay. I <laughs> Okay, online. If you insist, you're gonna get me killed by a shitty player, that's fine. I ain't even mad. It's a proper welcome back from vacation. You gotta remember just how bad, you gotta remember just how shitty online is. I ain't even mad about that. Nice. Fucking Jesus. Just goes to show you how fucking scrubby online is when a player like this can get fucking wins. I ain't even gonna try the new fancy shit. I mean, I haven't even tried, I haven't even practiced the new fancy shit. Oh, that's fine. Um, I'm fucking sorry? God. It is just so goddamn frustrating. Oh. Okay. 
I did not even mean to do that, but alrighty then. If that's how you want to play it. <laughs> sure thing, online. I was holding the direction and stuff. That you're coming out of fucking nowhere. It's... Whoops! We done, we done fucked up the order and now my Nova died for it. My badsies. My, that one was my own damn fault. I'm not paying attention. What are you gonna do? Um. 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 I do. Fucking online. What are you? Why am I even? Why am I playing this? Why am I even bothering? Why am I trying to prove something? Like that fucking proved anything? Like my pride was on the goddamn line, and that fucking proved something. It proved I can mash out a masher. Great. <laughs> what am I doing? All right, I'll just play one more game. Win or lose, I don't even give a fuck. If it's tied two two, or if he beats me one three, just one more game, and then I am I'm mad. And then I am eh. Um, um, thanks Hawkeye, thanks Hawkeye, I'm, gonna, I'm just mashing on you and you're not fucking coming out, getting me goddamn killed, that's cool. Alright, I'm not even gonna try, it just got laggy as fuck out of goddamn nowhere. Just mash online, dude. It's Garen. It's Garen fucking T. Dude's gonna drop his goddamn combo. Just mash it out online, son. Wow, that was really fucking cool. Ugh. That was really fucking cool, too. Good shit, Capcom. You guys are great at coding shit. That was really fucking cool, too. You guys are just fantastic at handling your shit. This is just great. It just got laggy as fuck. Like, out of goddamn nowhere, dude. I mean, it's just, it's stupid laggy right now. I'm sorry, that was just terrible. Like I stopped I just stopped talking because there's nothing worth talking about. That the connection just became absolute trash. This dude is absolute trash. I am playing like absolute trash. There was just there is just there was nothing fucking good to say about what just happened right there. So I am sorry. I am sorry that this is what you must witness. I am sorry that I can't give you better gameplay. I'm sorry that I suck booty with Chris. And I couldn't give you good gameplay with the Wolverine Chris Akuma team. I'm gonna try one more time. Apparently, all right. So apparently, we just we done. I mean, it's not surprising. It is only like 1 p.m. on a fucking yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just too many. It's just too many. Lobby size is for four. Rank limit is any. And now I'll just I'll just do a new video. I get oopsies. I'll just do a new video for this, I guess. But this is all going to be Wolverine Chris Akuma practice. So yeah, anyway, like I said, I, I apologize that, it was, that that shit was that terrible. That's I'm sorry. But it's what you get, so you're going to live with it. <laughs>